All right, this is a short little video to show you how to use Excel. Um, I've got Excel open here uh, in order to calculate correlation. Uh, if you're not familiar with Excel, you can just enter numbers, uh, click on a cell, and then just type in the number. And then you hit enter, and it gives you the number. You could have also done tab. Now notice 77 needs to go with 5, so you should put 5 right next to it. It's very important that they match up. And then your little up-down arrows can get you to the next box, so then 69. I just You can do arrow keys, you can hit enter keys. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter all this data, 85, 8, uh, 50, 13, 76, 14, 60, 14, and so you can keep going. I'm only going to go to this far. You need to enter all of these, but I'm just going to, just for demonstration purposes, going to do this. So then you can come off to just any empty cell you want. It really doesn't matter, just any empty cell. And then to type in the formula for correlation, to calculate correlation, you need to always start off with an equals. And then for correlation, it's C-O-R-R-E-L, parentheses. And then you need to tell them the what your x values are, and there's two ways you can do it. You can just notice all your x values for my example are from A1 to A6. So I can just type A1 colon A6 and it highlights the area. Then you need to do a comma. And then you could also type, I could also just do drag and drop like that. See that's B1 to B6. Clothing, closing parentheses, hit enter. There's my correlation. And so for this problem, it asks you to round to three percentage or three decimal places over here. See, this means three decimals. So I would type in four, six, six, because that seven rounds it. So that's just how you can use Excel. Now in this problem, it asks you to add another point. So down here in this example, it's saying 7%. That's a percent return, so that's an X value and 25 for number of birds, so that's the number of birds there. So I can just come to this list and add that extra point, 7, 25. And then I can come down here for correlation. And I can either go to a new box, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to do equals correlation. And then I'll just come down here, highlight the first one, comma, Highlight the second one, and then hit enter, and then I see that's my new correlation. And then I would round to three decimals, would be 848 eight because of that 6 there. And then it also says then add, instead of doing 725, enter 3811. So I could just, just as easily come back here and go 3811, and then this number right here is already set up to do the correlation for those sets. So you can use this feature in Excel. This isn't the only method, but if you want for this problem, this is something you can use.